Welcome to the land of Vikings where Scotland meets Scandinavia where North Sea meets Atlantic Ocean Welcome to Shetland First stop Aberdeen Let's go This is literally the last piece of luggage on the belt. It's so windy today. Anyway, taking a bus from the airport to the ferry terminal and look how pretty is this city. Hello. Welcome to my cute little cabin for the journey from Aberdeen to Lerik. Can you believe it's 8 in the morning? Just checked into our apartment and I think I'm going to take a nap. Also, not a bad view from my room. It's afternoon and I'm feeling very refreshed after that much needed nap and heading out to this island called Bresse which is just a short ferry ride away.
It's a beautiful morning here in Lerik and our car is here from Bolskahar. So today we are going to explore the west coast of mainland. Starting with a couple of viewpoints, we are going to drive through Sand Sound and Bexter and then we'll take our first stop at Sandness. This is the northernmost fish and chip shop in the UK, but unfortunately, it's closed now. So we continue to drive past some more dramatic landscapes on our way to Ishnes Lighthouse. Just look at this gorgeous sunset and this lake, which is very close to the Ishanes lighthouse and is far above sea level and reminds me of that famous lake in Faroe Islands. Later that evening, we saw a brief show of Northern Lights just outside Lyric. Today, we are going north all the way to Unst, which is the UK's northernmost island. We would also need to take the ferry twice to reach the island.
it has finally stopped raining. We are at Hermanus Nature Reserve and are walking further north to see a lighthouse which is the most northerly point in the UK. But the wind is so strong, we are not sure how far we can make it. The weather is really bad so we decided not to go ahead but we haven't given up just yet. We are driving to the other side of the beach to catch a glimpse of the lighthouse. You cannot miss the Viking Unst project when you are in the land of Vikings. This might have been the landing point for some of the first Vikings to arrive in Shetland. Therefore, if you are visiting Shetland, make sure you add this heritage centre to your list. And also Bobby's bus shelter which honours a child named Bobby and it's a really heartwarming story that you can look up on internet. Another night of chasing northern lights, but this time we got to see a double moonbow instead. It's our last day here and today we are going to visit a couple of beaches in the southern part of Shetland. Our first stop is this beautiful Min Beach on Westboro and we have the whole place to ourselves. I think we saved the best for last. One can walk across the St. Ninian's Beach to get to St. Ninian's Isle.
back to Lerik and look how beautifully it's decorated for Christmas. And on our way to the airport, we got the most beautiful snowy goodbye. Catching a final glimpse of this beautiful place from the air. And that brings me to the end of the vlog. If you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I shall be back very soon. Thanks for watching.